Hey y'all, happy Friday. So we are going to the other side. I, in, in even just talking about that yesterday, my spirit was so encouraged in that when the Lord tells you it's time to go to the other side, <laughs> regardless of what the storm comes up in the middle, you are going to the other side. Oh, praise the Lord. I'll try not to shout because I could. <laughs> could really shout. <laughs> um, so they're going to the other side. And these are fishermen. Okay. Jesus' disciples have been raised on the water. I mean, Peter, that's what they did. They fished. That was their livelihood. They knew the weather. They knew weather patterns. Do you think <laughs> that there would not be some account of Jesus saying, let's go to the other side. But they asked him not to go because it was stormy or they questioned going. See, the gospels are typically very clear about the disciples saying, you know, when he said, cast out your nets and they said, well, we've toiled all night or we've fished all night, but there was no storm. And they had been outside all day teaching to the multitudes. So they're in the ships and it says, um, a furious storm of wind of hurricane proportions arose. It came suddenly. It was not um, there. They were not planning on it. Do you think that this storm was just something that happened to happen. No. And it is, um, a, it was just a storm of wind. It doesn't talk about the rain or the thunder or the lightning. Um, a furious storm of wind, hurricane proportions of wind, and the waves kept beating into the boat so that it was already filled. And these were not big boats anyway, because Jesus um, was standing in it or sitting in it, teaching the crowd. So they would have been able to see him in this ship. Um, so this storm that came up, I believe, and we can dig into that a little bit further, this was a hindrance, a deterrence, something to stop them from getting to the other side. Well, you see that when you read the chapters in connection, chapter four and chapter five, because this is the very last thing in chapter four that this hurricane winds came out of nowhere in this sea. But the Lord had said, go to the other side. And, um, and so they wake Jesus up because they are terrified and He's, they say, don't you care that we're perishing, that we're dying? And he, of course, got up and said, peace, be still. Again, if the Lord has given you direction to go, trust him to get you there safely. But Jesus just didn't stand there and watch it and say, well, we're going to get there because God told us to go. He opened his mouth. And he commanded the forces that were out of line to come into line. He commanded peace over the situation. He spoke the word of God. And so he had a part to play in this. Yes, God has things planned from beginning to end. But how we get there, we have a part to play. We have choices that we make. God is not in control of our choices. We have free will. Now, he knows what we're going to choose, but we don't know what we're going to choose. And so we cannot just sit back and think that everything's going to take care of itself and everything's going to work itself out and that we don't have a part to play. If we did not have a part to play, Paul would not teach us about spiritual warfare. If we did not have a part to play, Paul would not say to put on the whole and complete armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles and deceptions of the devil. 
If we did not have a part to play, <laughs> you know, none of this would matter. Paul's letters to the church wouldn't matter because what we, what we do wouldn't matter. But you and I do have a part to play. And so Jesus opened his mouth to the storm, which was sent to stop them from getting to the other side. And it was still because he had a destiny and a destination. Paul goes through the same thing on the island of Malta. And we are at five and a half minutes. So we will pick up here and we will finish this later. But we have a part to play. You have a part to play in this story. In your story, you have a part to play. All right. I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.